Hi, this is George Mutt with Enterprise DNA, and in this tutorial, we're going to look at exploring a data set in pandas using the profile report function. Okay, so this is one of the most common questions that I get. You've probably asked it, I've definitely asked it, and it is you're given a data set, now what do you do? How do you explore the data set? Primarily, if you want to put it all together in an easy to read report for yourself, for coworkers, etc. Now, there are a lot of questions you need to ask when you want to answer that. So, to answer a question with a question, some things we might definitely want to know are well, what sorts of variables are they? Because that's going to influence how we analyze them, how we treat them. Uh, the other thing is, well, what's missing from the data, right? Data means what is given, so what is missing is going to be what data we don't have. Uh, and then another thing is to visualize those relationships. Uh, what do they look like? Uh, we want to use that uh, visualization power early and often. So these are a lot of interlocking complex questions. The nice thing is that there is this profiling report function available that will give us those answers. So uh, we're going to run this in a moment here in Python. It's going to give us a report including all of these sections. So we will see things like what kind of variables we have, uh, what missing values we have, what do the variables look like in terms of visualizations. So uh, let's go over to the demo. We're going to use a data set about penguin measurements of all things and we will walk through, interpret that report, but we will also kind of throw a wrench into the works because this package doesn't do everything. Data exploration is messy and this is just one tool that, that we can use. So let's take a look at all of that in Python. All the downloads and data sets will be available for you to follow along. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and We want to load data set. Now, Seaborn, we, we did a tutorial on this. You can check out the sample data set video on Enterprise DNA. It's another tutorial. It's got, uh, Seaborn has quite a few nice little packages, I'm sorry, data sets that we can use and we can practice on. Okay, so here's our data set. Now, the next thing we're going to do is from pandas profiling, we're going to import this thing called profile report. Now, if you get an error here, you probably need to install it. Uh, I'm using Anaconda. I suggest you use that as well. If you do that, you'll go to Anaconda. Uh, you'll go to your Anaconda prompt. You're going to do pip install pandas profiling. All right. So if you need to install, you can do that. I've already get installed. I'm going to run this. And now we have that imported. And all we need to do, this is a pretty simple thing to set up. I think that's profile, profile, report. And we need to say, well, what data set to report? This is meant for pandas, right? For pandas data frames. And this is a pandas data frame. So there we go. And then I'm going to print it. It's going to take a couple seconds to generate this report. But this is a really cool little report that we're going to get, giving us a lot of information about the data. And we'll walk through it here together. OK, so here it is. So we have an overview. Now, like I mentioned, you want to know when you have a data set, well, what kinds of variables are they? Are they categorical? Are they quantitative? This gives us a breakdown. We see number of rows and columns. And a lot of this you can get in many other places from pandas. The nice thing with this report is that it's all kind of in, it's a one-stop shop. And it also looks really nice, right? This is a very uh, appealing presentation. So I'm going to scroll down here. We start with variables. So here we get a visualization and we can toggle more details about the variable if we'd like. Now you're going to see here we've got uh, flags here that are pointing out things that may be a little unusual. Over here we've got these alerts. So if I hover, I think I need to click on this. No, I could just hover over it. It says that this variable is highly correlated. We'll see that a bit in a moment as well. So we're seeing a lot of different things, descriptive statistics here. We're seeing the number of unique values, et cetera. 
and we can go on here. Now these are categorical variables, so what we're doing here is just counting up the unique categories, right, and visualizing that. So this is more of like a bar plot or, or, or a count plot. We've got our uh, histogram here, so this is a uh, quantitative variable. So in this case, we're gonna see things like the quartiles, right, the range, mean, standard deviation, et cetera. So we've got a lot of that. There's even more that we could check out here if you wanted to check for outliers and so forth. Uh, we'll keep going here. And again, this is for every single variable, right? So imagine trying to do this all on your own through code. Now to be fair, a lot of this can be done with the data profiler in Power Query. So maybe you don't need this, but I'm gonna show you a couple things in a moment that would be additional to what you can get there. So let's continue to scroll here. Now interactions, the idea here, this is a this is a scatter plot. So it's created scatter plots to visualize the distribution of bill length to bill length. That doesn't really make sense, right? We're plotting it against itself. So let's try one of these. So we're looking at, okay, here is the distribution. And this actually, this plot, we're gonna dig into a little bit. And this is actually kind of hiding something important if we just went on this report alone. All right, so without being too cryptic, we'll keep going here. Correlations, now again, we're seeing the scatter plot here. Uh, what we're doing with the correlations, of course, is uh, summarizing that relationship. So we have our correlation matrix, it's visualized. I think there's a way you can actually, okay, no, that's the visualization. I think you can get these labeled. You may not be able to, uh, but these are different correlation coefficients. Uh, Pearson's is probably what we want. And we can look at that there. And again, you know, one variable is correlated among themselves and negative ones are red, et cetera, et cetera. So you can take a look at that. Uh, missing values are important. So we do have some missing values here. We can see from that. And one of the things with missing values is if we have them, we want to know why. We want to get a sense why. These visualizations are meant to help us do that. So the idea here, these are all different uh, kind of heuristics or techniques to see, well, are there patterns in what values are missing where? Like we can kind of see, it's kind of hard to see, but it looks like there is a missing value where the v values are missing all together, right? Uh, for sex, it looks like they're kind of randomly distributed. Uh, maybe, maybe not, right? Because it looks like the beginning and the end. So, you know, these are just kind of rules of thumb. We're just getting a sense there are more complex ways to deal with missing values, but right now we're just exploring, right? This is exploratory analysis. Uh, we can check uh, this out, how the missing values are kind of correlated to each other, uh, how this, and again, you know, another nice thing here is that it's explaining it to us right here. How strongly the presence or absence of one variable affects the presence of another. Uh, and then this is uh, trying to really decompose how missing values fully correlate these uh, completed values, right? Revealing trends deeper than the paralyzed ones, right? So really going a step further in piecing together how these missing values kind of move together, what patterns could be found. Okay, uh, sample, again, you could get this a lot of ways, but the, all this is doing is just printing out the first several rows, which is good to know, right? Seeing is believing with data, so we wanna actually see what the data set looks like with some sample observations. Now, this is all well and good. This is a really cool report, um, but you don't just wanna leave it there. And let me give you one quick example and then we'll, we'll close here. Okay, so I'm gonna do a scatter plot and I'm gonna use Seaborn. So I'm gonna do bill length millimeter. Y is gonna be bill depth millimeter. Uh, hue is going to be species. So basically, this is going to be a scatter plot. I'm going to color each point based on what species uh, the penguin is. And then our data set obviously is penguins. Okay, so we'll go ahead and run that. And now we're seeing something that we didn't see if we just used that. Uh, what was it? I think they call it interaction up here. Uh, we are seeing that it's pretty clear that there are some significant differences among the species, right? So really we're adding a third variable. Uh, we're turning this from a bivariate into a multivariate exploration, right? Because we're using three variables in this case. 
and and this might be something to explore depending on how we want to uh, dig into the data so this is good but you know there are a lot of ways to slice and dice the data right think of all the combinations of permutations of the data this isn't going to be able to do everything for you but it, it's a really good start and you know to be fair you can kind of see it uh, here you know it looks like there are some some clumps together and I believe in Power BI you can just instantaneously cluster the data and see how that goes but anyway so here's our data exploration let's close out here so like I said when we explore data it's really an iterative process there's no kind of one and done magic pill as much as we might want one however the profiler report is really a great tool we get a lot of information in just one line of code. So appreciate the uh, maintainer of this package for releasing it to us, use for free. Hope you can use it in your own work. Let us know how you do that. So again, thanks for tuning in. This is George Mount with Enterprise DNA. Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in to Enterprise DNA TV. If you enjoyed the content covered in this particular tutorial, please throw the video a like. It really helps us and we really appreciate it. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the Enterprise DNA TV channel. Uh, we have a huge amount of content coming out all the time from myself and a range of content creators, uh, all dedicated to improving the way that you use Power BI and the Power Platform. Lastly, check out Enterprise DNA's website. Plenty of resources and further learning that you can access very easily. All the best. Take care.